So you had the so-called Negroes, which were or the tribe of Judah, they here calling themselves African American when they re really Hebrew Israelites. And that's the same, it's, it's the same example from the scriptures. They were all Israelites. This book is only for Israel. This is Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. It says, And ye should know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. So he's, he's once again telling you he's only dealing with Israel, and that, that, he, that yeah, he created everybody else, but he's only our power source. He's only dealing with us as a nation. He's not dealing with everybody else. He made them, but he made them to serve their purpose. But he, he exalts the nation of Israel. He says Psalms uh, 147, verse 19 and 20. This is Psalms 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation. And as far as his judgment, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So, so yeah, basically, it's, it's the same thing over and over. All these other nations, they aren't supposed to be teaching. He never gave them the authority. He never authorized a, a Chinese man or the so-called white man. He never authorized them to teach. He gave his word and his statutes and his understanding to Jacob, which is which is the progenitor of the 12 tribes, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Get um Isaiah fourteen and one. You can break it down. It's Isaiah chapter fourteen verse one. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So basically, it's talking about you know. Uh, so-called 12 tribes, well, basically the 12 tribes of Israel, you know what I'm saying? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and uh, Native Americans, the Lord, he gonna put us in our own land. Because this not our land right here, this this captivity, all right? This Babylon the Great, all right? This like modern day Egypt, basically, all right? And it says the Lord, he gonna yet choose the house of Jacob, all right? And Jacob is, which I just said, is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and uh, Native Americans. And he said when he gonna put us in our own land, he said that they gonna cleave to us. So that mean that the the, the, the so-called white man, they gonna be in, in captivity then. Cause it tell you, uh, he that lead it, he that lead it to captivity shall go into captivity. So basically when the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh put us in our own land. Oh, keep, oh, keep, oh, keep, keep, keep reading. Keep going, verse yeah. two. Yeah. You ready? This is Isaiah 14 and two. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, who captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. There you go. Basically, just like I was saying, you know, the mm -hmm. Lord, he going he gonna to bring us to our righteous land, all right? And he going to bring a, the so-called heathen nation, the so-called white man, and they going to be our servants and our handmaids, just like the scripture just said. Huh. That's right. That's I got another scripture back up, too. This is a... Uh, And you can keep on reading if you want to, I, on three. All right, verse, no. <laughs> this is Joel chapter three, verse seven. Uh -huh. and, uh, also, uh, can you I cut that down a little bit. I, I'm silent. Go ahead, uh, at Tazapaya. Alright, what scripture is you 
Joel chapter 3 verse 7 Behold I will raise them out of the place Whither ye have sold them And we will turn your recompense Upon your own head Alright so that's talking about Like the judgment of uh, mainly Esau The so called white man Are to put our people uh, are in captivity or that's talking about the, the uh, transatlantic slave trade, or when he rounded us, rounded us up from uh, like West Africa, or wherever we were, or and uh, like put us on car cargo slave ships. Or right, the Lord like uh, like he um, requires a recompense for that. And get all um, if you haven't gotten it already, uh, Revelation 13 and 9. All right, just as a precept. And if you have anything more, you can continue in that. Revelation 13 verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience of the faith of the saints. All right. All right. So the Bible says, he who leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. All right. That's talking about if you put someone in slavery, all right, then the Lord's going to all like, put you in slavery. All right. But this is a, the, the Lord. Like he deals with, um, as far as judgments go, like he deals with uh, groups of people, all right, and he's only dealing with the 12 tribes of Israel. All right, so what group of people are right, put another group of people in slavery? All right, that's talking about the so-called white man. All right, this is Esau, all right, and this is all, um, this represents the 12 tribes of Israel. All right, mainly that, that's talking about the uh, southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. All right, he still has us in captivity to this day. All right, so what the Lord's going to do, all right, he's going to flip the script. All right, and then, um, like, when, when we get in our kingdom, all right, uh, we're going to possess all these heathen nations, all right, as uh, servants and handmaids. All right, so I can also get, um, I want a uh, Revelation 2 and 26. Okay. This is uh, Psalm chapter 149, okay, okay. and I'm going to start at verse 6. Let the high praises of Yahweh be in their mouth, and the two-edged sword in their hand, to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written this praise have all the saints praise ye the lord yeah and that judgment written was uh, revelation 13 and 9 all right and all uh, that's also a uh, future prophecy about the elites all right because america is going to be destroyed with thermonuclear missiles Kay. all right but uh, all right the elites are going to be spared are right, to be the first fruits of slavery Kay. Revelation, Revelation chapter 2, verse 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. All right, and that's talking about like those those of um, the 12 tribes of Israel, the so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, that's talking about um, all right, the one third and the elect. All right, and um, all right, the teachers and prophets on the highways and byways. All right, we're the ones right now that are doing the Lord's work. All right, as I like to say, like the, um, all right, these, this is the works. All right, the, um, all right, the works. All right, um, and that also has to do with faith. All right, but um, the other part is the works. All right, the works is following the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. All right, and that's also, um, all right, and that's also coming out and um, like prophesying against like this wicked kingdom. All right, and that's what we're doing. Um, all right, and, like putting your hand on the plow and not all. Um, I mean, you can get the uh, nine. You can hold that if you want. All right, but um, yeah, keep going with that. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Psalm 9 and 62. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. And I will give him the morning star. All right, yeah, that's good. All right, and um, people talk about um, like so-called Jesus Christ. All right, those... Uh, all right, that precept was in red words, red letters. All right, so that means, uh, all right, that's that's something that the Messiah said himself. All right, so that shows you, all right, that he's not all about peace and love. All right, because he said that he received, uh, like, authority over the nations. All right, and he can, uh, all right, that rod of iron, all right, just, like, bashing people over the head, all right, keeping people in check. All right, and that's what, uh, that's the same inheritance, all right, that he's going to give the elect. All right, to have rulership. All right, over, over all these heathen nations, all right, that aren't um, all right, that, that aren't on the sign. All right, the biblical names to the left and the um, 
All right, the, so the Proverbs and Bioworks to the right, all right, those are the people all right, that he's going to give dominion over the earth to. All right, starting with Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, all right, going on down to the elect, all right, and then the, uh, all right, the rest of the two-thirds all right, that come back, like in the reincarnation. Oh right, yeah, and this is this just has to do with all. Uh, all right, and that's that's another thing. There's all uh, there's an elect, all right, and a one third and a two third. All right, and this is all uh, another difference between all. Uh, all right, the all uh, right, the two thirds and the elect. Yes. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. All right, and all this nice weather. All right, that's one thing. Like, uh, all right, that's one thing that I wanted to bring up because uh, usually over there, like, all uh, like the IUIC, all right, the Foot Clan all uh, sets up camp. Mm -hmm. All right, but even when the weather's nice, they don't come out every week. All right, they don't, uh, all right, they, they always want to front about like how, how, like how tough and hard they are. Like, I see, um, uh, like, uh, like one of them, like, uh, like, uh, like the uh, like one of the brothers there, like he uh, works at um uh, like the gym I go to sometimes, and you'll see him on like the on the bag, are right, just throwing those like quick jabs, like pairing and all that. All right, they have like this image of being like um uh, just tough, hard, like austere, loud, by right, marching in unison, by right, doing push-ups, <clears throat> right, wearing all uh, like combat boots, all the uniforms look shiny and all that. All right, but they can't do anything, do um do something as simple as all. Um, are right, just um, like going out on the highways and byways at least like every week. Like let alone like every every two weeks or even like once a month. All right, they just go out like um, it's it's basically like just um, it's it's, it's just um, like they a club or a cult. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, X fourteen twenty two. Yeah, but um, suck it. But they they put. But not not being consistent is all um, considered putting your hand off the plow. All right, let's say you all uh, you come out for all. Uh, or you come out for a week, like you all uh, teach and prophesy and all that. But then all uh, you're consistent for a while. But then you all uh, like miss a week or two, or you miss a month, you miss two months. Uh, all right, or maybe you all uh, you stop coming out, or maybe you you only come out like uh, like once a year. Uh, and there, there are more camps than uh, IUIC that do that. There are even um, like some camps that link up with um, like We Got Next and all that. Like uh, they'll 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 uh, go inside and do like studio shows. But the main thing you need to do, or uh, when you start going on the, going out on the highways and byways, you keep going out on the highways and byways. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after I will send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and all the holes of the rocks. All right. So right now, all right, we're the fishermen. All right, and that's talking about we're only all we're only looking for the elect. All right, because the Lord's agenda, as far as the judgment of the twelve tribes, like He's only dealing with the one third. All right, and those are the people that He's going to have mercy on. All right, but then once those doors of mercy shut, all right, He's going to send for all. Or he's gonna um, like uh, seek judgment, or whether send the hunters. Yeah, yeah. Whether it be like and those hunters, though. Yeah. Mike, 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 the chapter five, verse eight. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles, in the midst of the people, as a lion among the beasts of the forest, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep. Who, if he go through. Both tread it down and tear it in pieces, and none can deliver. Uh. Yeah, and that's all. Uh, it's basically like what's going to happen, like all. Uh, right, and that's that's like the spirit we have, like all. Uh, right, because like if you're ever all, uh, it's like in like a crowded room, and there's like other like heathen, like all uh, like Elam or like Ishmael, you can sense that they're all, uh, like they're like weaker than you. Oh, yeah, so I remember like one time I was um it's like on like an elevator. There's like this group of Elamites. Right and um it's like, you know, like one of them was like in like a really bad mood. 
I guess like I was all, like I all, I either like got in his way like on the way to like the elevator and he was like pissed off and then he tried to like all, he tried to like do all like this but then like, like he was like backed up. Right. That's because they're highly intimidated by us. It's like a roar we got, it's like a, a vibe that we just naturally have where, where as soon as we, uh, all you really have to do is have to burn or, or be solid and then they just instantly, they actually, uh, what they thought they wanted to do, they just back, back off. Uh, let me, uh, stop.